millennials and, and younger voters, uh, especially younger voters, tend to vote more aspirational. Uh, usually in elections, vote for you know foreign policy issues, making the world a better place. But right now, the world is falling apart, and we don't necessarily know immediately how to fix that right now. So this has become a very realism-based uh, election uh, for younger voters, and I think that they're starting to look at you know uh, things that affect them more directly. Uh, like affordability issues. Um, I, I don't think many millennials or uh, Gen Z uh, believe that they will ever own a house uh, in, in this country. And, uh, you know, they just see housing prices just skyrocket uh, and have skyrocketed for the past 10 years, uh, especially in Ontario and out West. So I, you know, like for younger voters, uh, those pocketbook issues that the NDP and the Conservatives are talking about directly are going to resonate. And I think that, um, you know, after marijuana, uh, Trudeau has not really offered anything new uh, to younger voters. I mean, he did uh, lie on the, uh, the first past the post issue on electoral reform, which was also very important for uh, younger, uh, more aspirational, change the world type of voters. And yeah, I think uh, realism has uh, all hit us very hard in the last 18 months. Mm. And, uh, you know, with Afghanistan, uh, just fresh in in the front view, uh, I, I think a lot of those younger voters are going to start looking more domestically and more uh, to, through a realistic lens at, at their options here. Gary Mar, I want to I want to flip this to you very briefly. We've got a couple of minutes left, but it sounds like can, the rest of Canada has joined the party, uh, joined the Western Canadian anger at uh, the the status quo in a sense, uh, because that feeling of anger and dis, disenchantment. Uh, has been a moniker of of uh, Western alienation for a while. Uh, are you sensing the same thing? Uh, I'm not sure if it's quite as strong uh, in the rest of Canada as it is in Western Canada. But I will say this: there certainly has been a change in the media, and I might make this observation: uh, every senior media person in Canada has spent time uh, serving an assignment in Afghanistan, and all of them have had people that have been left behind. Uh, that were their fixers, that were the people that helped out, you know, uh, whether it's Kevin Newman or Lisa Laflamme or Don Martin or others, uh, you know, safely negotiate their way outside the wire in Kandahar. And I think that the media is taking a really different look um, at uh, what they view to be a failure of uh, public policy, of foreign policy, Afghanistan. And so it, it, I think that that has a difference in how the media is. Uh, looking at the gulf that exists between the rhetoric um, and the uh, and the acts of the federal government uh, on this important matter that uh, Stephen talked about. Well, we've had more debate in this panel on foreign policy than they'll allow in the English debates. Uh, Joe Oliver, we got a minute left. Who's going to win the debates? I think on balance, uh, I, I think on balance, Aaron O'Toole will do better. Because Trudeau has a, has a problem of, of confidence, authenticity, and moral authority. And uh, he, he's vulnerable to attacks uh, on all of them. And I think a lot of people are, are fed up, but uh, many of them have uh, the Liberals' as default. Uh, and uh, it's, it's, it's difficult to, to move, them, move them off it. It's almost like a religion. They, they, they identify it's a question of identity, but but a number of people that I've talked to uh, have uh, you know are 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 sort of uh, so fed up uh, with with so many of, of the failures and his his betrayal of women of of, of Aboriginals of uh, uh, of, of middle class uh, uh, Canadians. Uh, so I, I think there's so many opportunities for uh, uh, for Aaron O'Toole with a smile uh, to go after him and present himself as a likable and competent and authentic alternative. And if he can do that, that, yeah. that will be critical. Well, there you have it. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for uh, our panel for joining us for yet another week. And thank you for watching. We'll be watching the debates very, very closely. Thanks again.